back and today I'll be showing you how to install a new ROM that is called Android open source project we normally call it as AOSP ROM so guys this is the ROM which is for OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T so right now I am running uh, Oxygen OS the latest version of Oxygen OS and I am using my OnePlus 3T so guys to start with that first download both the files which are required to flash and uh, also a Google package I have mentioned both the links in the description below you can download from there and uh, if any questions or any uh, issues you are facing you can drop a comment so I'll show you the files which are uh, you can see it is an AOSP extended version 3.2 this is the latest version of AOSP uh, ROM and uh, I have also downloaded the Google package app and this is the package which I'll be using so guys make sure you have TWRP recovery installed on your device it is not recommended that your device is rooted or not it's a simple process just flash the TWRP recovery if you guys doesn't have TWRP recovery you can check my other videos to flash the recovery so after everything is done just boot your device to recovery just by tapping reboot So once your uh, TWRP recovery boots up and it took me almost uh, 2 to 2 and a half minutes. I don't know this is the uh, latest version of TWRP recovery that is 3.1. So we'll see why it is taking so much of time. So now to install that just do a complete wipe just a factory reset nothing else. And once it is done you can go back and install the AOSP ROM. So first what we'll do is we'll install the main uh, ROM file, after that we'll flash Google Apps. So this is done and we'll flash now Google App package. So once everything is completed just wipe caches and reboot your device. your device boots up will complete the setup wizard once so guys now I have completed the setup wizard and you see we have a, I think it's a pixel launcher which is being pre-installed in this so we go to settings and we go to about and you can see it says uh, model number unknown I don't know why it is saying unknown it is based on Android version 7.1.1, extended version AOSP, extended version 3.2 official and security patch is uh, 5th Feb. So we go back and so first we will see whether uh, everything is working fine or not. We go to settings we have, yes it is I think a pixel launcher, yes it is a pixel launcher calls will check whether it is working properly or not yes calls are working then we go to camera I think camera is also working fine so guys gallery app is pre-installed in this and uh, you doesn't have much of google apps because I just selected the pico package and which doesn't uh, consist of much Google Apps it's an simple uh, apps like Play Store so after the installation process is complete you just uh, need to install your apps accordingly and uh, after everything is done we'll I'll be testing the device and I'll be telling you guys uh, about the battery backup and uh, everything you know, how is the battery backup on this room and uh, if there is any bug I'll do let you know guys because this is the first time I'm using AOSP ROM I have never used this ROM so now we'll see uh, how does it work and if you guys are facing any issue or installation do let me know in the comment below or you can drop a message on my Facebook page so that I'll be able to reply you guys instantly so we go to settings and we see what all customization options we have in this one we have swap button which is uh, available in Android OS also and in this you have few changes here extensions in this there are few options available you can status bar items you can enable 4G or uh, LT whatever you are using next you have clock and date setting so 
this is the nice options you get many um, customization option in this AOSP room so next you have battery in this you have battery bar you can select uh, status bar if I see I get uh, battery pers percentage over here it is not visible because of the cover which I am using the screen guard which I am using and next we have we go to carrier label you have uh, you get an option to select on screen or you can select on the status bar you get Vodafone IN over here and in notification panel you have quick settings you can select uh, according to your uh, usage in navigation bar we have few options like if we enable navigation button we get all these uh, soft buttons available on the screen on recents you have recent UI so in this you can select few things over here next lock screen UI you have uh, double tap to sleep uh, anywhere you can just double tap the screen if you are on the lock screen if a device is on lock screen you just double tap and the device goes to sleep mode fingerprint authentication okay lock screen UI we have all these system you have general tweaks and in this you can and in this you can use uh, options you have animations you can disable animations according to your usage buttons you have power button when you restart so few uh, nice customization options available in this if you guys are facing any kind of issue do let me know in the comment below and hope you like the video thanks for watching have a great day ahead